Hi everyone, it's me Jen from I'm Just Like You and today I just want to do a fun video for you guys where I'm going to show you just like a get ready with me talk through tutorial on a look that I'm going to wear tonight. We're getting together with some friends on a Valentine's Day girls night out and I thought it would be cute to kind of show you just some products that I've been trying out and see the first impressions together. So let's get started. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see all this goodness. So the only thing that I have on my face is this. This is the Cetaphil uh, Moisturizing Cream. This is what I go to at night and during the day as my moisturizer. I apply a lot of it before I put my foundation on because I am going to wipe it off once I finish my eyes because you know of any fallout or anything like that. So first step, I'm going to cancel any discoloration on my lids with this. This is the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. Oh, by the way, all my brushes are not clean but that's because we are filming in real life, okay? This is not just for show. So I'm gonna use a synthetic brush by Real Techniques. This is their angled one. I usually like their um, other one, but this one will be okay. So I'm just buffing it. I don't really like a heavy amount of it. I just want enough to kind of give it a good base. But I really make sure that I get to the edge where my lashes are. To be honest, I really don't even know what kind of look I want to do right now. I don't know if I want to go a little pink, but it'll be really festive if I do. I'm not a pink person and every year I never do a tutorial where I want to show you guys a look where there's pink used because I feel like it's just not very practical for every day. I mean, it's great to watch. I love watching those tutorials, but you know. There you go. That way you guys can see everything. So I think I'm going to do a more bronzy, hmm, bronzy pink look. Yeah, I'm going to do a halo look where I have like a brightness in the middle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my transition color. And I am going to go in with the um, It's Judy's Time Pixie Palette. And I'm going to go in with this light brown color. Mix a little bit of this light peachy color here. I'm just going to go all over. I don't really... Um, set my eyes after I put on that soft ochre because I feel like with my eye shape I kind of need that intensity and I feel like I can always blend it out and I'll show you my tricks and stuff the way that I do my eye makeup because right now look at me I'm just blending it all over the place I don't really have any type of order or precision I just want that wash of color on the lids And it can get patchy if you don't um, kind of move fast. You kind of just like go in one place all the time. If you kind of disperse it right away, it's a lot easier. And what I notice is that the first time you put your brush to your eye, that's when it has the most color. So you want to disperse it all over the eye first and then start blending. The blending is when the product is already on the lid and it's no longer on the brush as much. Then you want to blend. And I find it important because of my nose shape, the fact that I don't have a high nose bridge, to really put a lot of color in here to kind of make that part a little deeper to bring the nose bridge a little bit higher. That's just my trick. And if you want your shape to go out a little bit more, this is the time for you to kind of map out where you want your eyeshadow to stop. So that looks good. I'm going to go in with the more coppery pinkish tone. And now I'm going to just take it on the tip of my brush and not the whole entire brush. I'm going to go in a little bit more precise into the crease. And this, I'm just going to go back and forth versus earlier I was going circular motion. This is going to make it a little bit more precise when you're applying the color onto the lid. As you can see, comparing this eye to this eye, the socket looks a little bit deeper and a little bit warmer. Go in one more time to intensify the color. 
And as you can see, I raise my eyebrows. That way I can see where my crease is. And it's easy for the brush to just go directly into the socket. And it's also really good if you have another brush on hand. This is actually optional. You don't have to have another brush. But if you have a fluffy one, you can always go back and really buff it out if you have time to like really blend. It makes the look a lot more professional looking and seamless. It's really important on how you hold your brush. If you hold it like this, straight, you know, completely at the point and not angled, that's really going to make it more precise in the, the crease. But if you want to blend above the crease a little, then you bend down the um, angle of your brush so that you blend upwards towards the brow. But at this moment, I want it to be more concentrated in the crease, so I hold the brush straightforward and there's no angling. I feel like I need a little bit more brown, a little hint of brown. So I'm going to go in with this color right here. And I'm going to go more in a circular motion on the outer V to deepen the outward. See that? It's a little bit deeper. It brings out your shape a little more too. And don't worry about this part here. You can always clean it up when you're cleaning the eyeshadow off. I'm going to go a little darker on the outer ends. And I am actually going to use this. This is the Color Tattoo Up to 24 Hour Concentrated Crayon. And I'm just going to draw a little bit like that. Kind of like a V shape, kind of like if you were to wear eyeliner at the end to flick it out. And then I'm going to go right into the crease. That's just going to give it a little bit of an intense coloring so that when you apply like a color on top, it's going to um, look better. It's going to just look a little bit more intense and opaque. So I'm just going to blend it out with a synthetic brush. Now I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. So this is a brush that has a taper to the tip of it. And I'm going to go into a darker color. And I'm going to use this color here. It's called Red Ochre by the Re Rena Modern Renaissance Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And so far I've only used matte shadows because we're going to put a really intense color in the middle. I'm going from brown to burgundy, and then I might do a little bit of a pink. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but these color blend so well. This palette from Anastasia. Okay, and of course we're going to go back in with that brush. I used earlier to kind of just blend everything and make sure everything is blended. And at this moment, it just looks all really blown out. But trust me, trust. Okay, we're going to go back in with that smaller taper brush and I'm going to use this color right here, this is called Cyrus Umber. It intense this a little bit more. This is super, super dark. Shoot. It's okay. We're just going to blend it out. Okay, I don't know if I want to leave it where it's darker on the outside and not the inside. I'm not really, not really sure what I want yet. I'm going to use this Wally Deep um, Jewel Pop, Pot Jewel Pot. And I'm going to use this color right here. It's a little bit of a rose gold kind of color. 
I'm gonna use it on my fingers. That's pretty. Let's see if we can add a little bit of a pink to this look. I am going to use this brush, smaller brush, pencil brush, and go in to Venetian Red. That's this color right here. Let's go over that darker color. Right in between. I'm gonna do it over here. I'm gonna tilt my head back so we can get a better look. Just a little bit of red. Gonna help bring in some warmth. I'm gonna blend it out as much as I can. I don't want to look like I have a black eye or anything. And again, our savior. The first brush we ever use, we're just going to blend that out. So now it's kind of looks like it's a little too blown out at the top, especially because my eye shape is so small, like there's not a lot to kind of play with. So what I'm going to do is my favorite part. This is my favorite, favorite eyeshadow as well. This is temp Tempera, 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 Tempera. Um, it's this color here. It's just like a skin color, a little bit lighter than a skin color. I might get it on to like a dome applicator. I'm just going to go right around the eyeshadow areas. And this is going to help make the look less blown out. And it's going to help blend it as well to kind of, it's like skin color. So it's going to make it look like you blended but it's not shimmery, it's not too matte, it's like a satin color. And as you can see, it blends the look down. I'm gonna do one eye first so you can see it. It's gonna blend it all so that it's not so blown out and it's, you kinda like make that blown out blended look and you're just gonna kind of tone it down and put it, pull it together a little bit more. And if you feel like you go crazy with the erasing, like I, um, like just now, like how I kind of did, you just go back in with that blending brush and blend it again. And if you just go back and forth with that two steps, it just makes the look look so good. Starting at the brows and going down. It's like a little trick. It's like a eraser trick in my opinion. Okay, I am practically done with the top of the eyes, so I'm going to use a makeup wipe. This is my favorite Kirkland makeup wipe. I'm just going to wipe away all the makeup that are on my hand. That was testing colors. And then I'm going to go right... and clean up everything. Okay, now on to brows. I already have like a brow tutorial where I show you how I put, you know, put on my brows. So I'm just gonna fast forward this. If you wanna see like in depth exactly why I do what I do and how I do it, then I will put the link right here for you and you can check it out yourself. So I had to do my lashes off camera. I'm not wearing any eyeliner though. That's a different type of look for me. Um, but I had to do it off camera because I'm too stressed out to be doing that on camera to show you guys. 
Alright, so I have my eye makeup on already, as you can tell, and nothing on my face. So I am going to try out the foundation on bare skin. There's nothing on my skin. I am just wearing a little bit of moisturizer, but I kind of wiped that off as well. I don't usually wear a primer. So let's just see how well this foundation works. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. It does have a broad spectrum of SPF 15. So I'm going to shake it up really well. I'm in the color light beige sand. This is the only one I saw it could match me because it has like warmness, a little bit of yellowness. Um, so let's hope it works out. All right, so I did do my base off camera because I'm doing a video where I'm doing a first impression for the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation and concealer. I'm doing like a follow with me throughout the day, kind of see how the foundation looks like. So if you guys are interested in my opinion on the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation and concealer, definitely check out that video and I'll show you exactly how I put on the base. But overall, just to kind of let you guys know, I do feel like it's very drying and it's kind of clinging onto some of my texture and a little bit of my dryness so at this moment I kind of don't like it but I'm gonna have to wear it anyways throughout the day to see how it is so I'm gonna have to bronze up my face a lot <laughs> because the color did not match me very well this is in light medium sand it's a really great yellow base foundation but I do notice a lot of whiteness so we're going to bronze the hell out of my face. So first I'm going to use the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. This is a great one to use all over the face. So I'm starting up here. So smooth, so pretty. And it's kind of like a transition bronze so this one is great for like all over the face kind of bronze. And then I'm going to go in and kind of um, do a more intense contour with another bronzer later. This is just great for kind of going all over the face. And you can go back in with this bronzer as like a, um, a blending one. But I needed something on this face. Okay, and then now I'm using a more tapered brush. This is by Real Techniques and in with the Too Faced Bronze in medium dark or medium deep. Look what a big difference bronzer look like. I just, like even if your foundation is way too light, it really can fix it. Okay, looks pretty good. I can see the bottom of my like concealer area. It's like not cracking or separating, which is great, but it is looking really dry. Okay, I'm gonna go over with like a little bit of a darker foundation to kind of blend in everything. This is the Armani Luminous Silk in the number four. It's the only one that's very yellow base. And I'm just gonna brush it to kind of blend the, the bronzer. Oh, I feel like And then I'm going to do another spray of Fix Plus to kind of melt everything. Oof. And then for my highlighter, I'm going to use the Luminizer. I like this one. It has a little bit of coverage and a little bit of yellowness that I feel like with this foundation, it's going to make it look a lot more glowy because it's so drying. Can you see it? Because I use natural lighting, I feel like you can't really see my glow sometimes. Can you see the glow? <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with blush to kind of blend everything together. I'm trying out the new Marc Jacobs 
what is this called? Lines and Last Night Air Blush. And it looks like this, so pretty. I'm gonna use all the colors. Ooh, it is pretty, look at that. You can't really overdo it. Oh, I really like it. It's so peachy and pretty. All right, let's zoom back in and finish the eyes. I'm going to go back with the tapering brush and going in with red ochre, just that burgundy color. And we're just gonna connect from the top to the bottom. Like that. This more synthetic bl uh, brush to kind of blend it out. And the more you blend that harsh edge that you cleaned up earlier, it's gonna go away. And that same color we put up here, I'm gonna put it all right here. So instead of mimicking that halo color here, and here like people usually do. I feel like for my eye shape, I like to have the light in there. I go in with just a gloss, really simple. This is Galactic Gloss and Baby Doll. And the look is done. So this is the complete look. I hope you guys enjoy watching this talk through, get ready with me type of video. If you do like these type of videos, let me know by giving my video a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends on social media, Facebook. It really helps my channel out. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I do do a video every single week for you. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great Valentine's Day with your loved ones and see you next time.